G'day everyone, it's first thing in the morning and I'm at the boat. We're getting ready to uh, start welding that bilge up. I want to get all that finished off this week and I want to hopefully get all my epoxy resin in and poured. So I'm going to get straight into welding. Let's see how far we get. Well, I finished with this bilge. I'm happy with the welding. So, no more big hole there. It's all gone. We had three big areas to weld here. And on the other side, there was a patch from there to there to be welded. So a big long patch, all no, uh, no divots now. It's all nice and smooth. And on the other side here, we had another two areas here that I welded up, so no more divots. The rest of all the pits are less than a mil, and I'm happy with that. The paint's going to fill in those sort of uh, pits and uh, bits. I don't want to be welding up 200 little spots, but I'm happy to weld up any of the ones that are over a mil deep. So I'm happy with the build. I've given it a basic clean up. So when I get the epoxy resin, we'll give it another scuff up with some emery paper, give it a nice sharp profile, clean it all up and wipe it down with some acetone and we'll pour that uh, resin in. So we're good with these two builders. So I'm going to go on with doing some more um, studs on the windows. Alright, I finished up um, doing that window uh, and I finally got the epoxy in. So it took a little bit of time to get, but that's alright. Um, I've changed my mind a few times on the different types of epoxies I want to use. Um, just because of availability, there's um, some that I just can't get or I have to order them and they're going to take weeks and I don't want that. So what I've settled on is we've got Sherplate PW. So it's a really good marine coating. Um, it will set like plastic um, It doesn't go on as thick as I would have liked um, But a couple of coats and we'll get the thickness that I require So this is basically good for using in a potable water So if you have um, steel water tanks, you can pop this in there. It's good. It's food grade You can um, drink the water um, store food in there and that's all good um, 
it's a one to one mix ratio which is a lot easier to measure out um, uh, so as you can see I've got a fair bit here there's 40 liters so um, that's all right you don't you don't throw babies in in your um, mixed tubs because that's wrong they show you that um, but yeah this is good hardener it's not as hard as some of the um, epoxies I was looking at getting um, one of them was um, uh, epi res that's a really good hard wearing epoxy um, that can go on basically as thick as you want it. Um, it it won't set as hard and it's slightly porous so you've got to seal it up with another uh, epoxy um, but it's a nice versatile um, epoxy resin that you can just basically put it in like a trowel and it could be as thick as you want next one i was trying to get a hold of is sharon williams fast clad that's an amazing killer paint it, it'll stay on forever um, some aspects in some environments they give it a 30 year shelf life i believe they painted some parts of adelaide oval it's um, a football stadium here and um, the the engineers gave that a 50 year um, coating um, like lifespan so that that's all good it's a really uh, beautiful coating however uh, sharon williams says we can't get that um we just can't get it here um they've got back orders out there is i'm not going to get any of it so the, we've got this one now um it's another sharon williams paint sure plate it's going to do the job um the good thing about this is um it's already white um and it's already basically a bilge coat so i just have to paint this on and sand it nice and flat and we're good to go so i actually save a step with this one so it actually worked out better so uh let's go try and uh, see how we go getting it in there all right first things first before i start painting the bilge i've got to clean it up again uh so i've been working on this one a fair bit did all that welding and that so that one's still basically good to go it's going to clean up this end a little bit more and this one's gone a little bit rusty because this one hasn't been worked on in about two weeks. We've had a bit of moisture in here, so that one's gone a bit rusty. So we're going to re-prep the surfaces, it won't take long. What I'm going to do because of this paint that um, we've got, this epoxy, is it's really good for the bilge. Um, so I'm going to clean up the sides. What I was going to originally do, just pour the resin in completely so it's just got a flat bottom. And when I go to blast the rest of the boat, I was going to blast those sidewalls. Because this is such good paint, um, I'm going to use it for the entire bilge, um, not just pour a, a flat bottom and then paint a bilge coat over it. This paint could just be completely used as a bilge coat. So I'm going to prep those sidewalls, which I wasn't going to do, um, and then we'll get to mixing up the epoxy and get it poured in. Got a bit of an upgrade. So I've just taken off all the corrosion and all that paint that was on the side walls. So um, it's all nice and clean. Um, taking off some more paint on the side walls, I have uncovered some more um, bits that need a bit of fixing. But because I want to push forward to getting this um, epoxy down, and the epoxy has to go down in many layers, so it's going to take a bit of time. I'm going to cover them up with a bit of tape and we're going to address them a bit later. Starting to get a bit dark so the spotlights are out. Um, next step is to solvent wipe and then tape up those areas which we found which need to have a bit of corrosion uh, belt dealt with a bit later. Um, so I'm going to tape them up, uh, solvent wipe and then um, we'll get the paint mixed up.
All right, that was a bit of hard work. I probably mixed up a bit too much paint. I got a bit over anxious, uh, which made me have to work twice as fast, twice as hard to try and get it all covered in time. But we got there in the end. Um, it's got a nice thick coverage. So this, um, this paint can be applied up to 1400 micron thick, so 1.4 mil. Um, and it does require a lot of uh, air movement to get it to set off because it's chemically um, it's chemically bound, so it, um, it, it doesn't require solvents or anything um, and it evaporates and eventually dries. It's a chemical reaction and it creates a bit of heat as well. So it actually needs a bit of air movement on here um, just to keep it circulated. Uh, so I'm gonna have to put a little bit of an air blower in here just to circulate the air while it dries um, and then head off home. But let's have a look. Very white at the moment. So, got a little bit more to do. I can't get, hold the torch and point at the same time. But in this little area here, we've got yeah, a little bit more filling to do. Um, as you can see, you can still see the, the, um, the metal uh, ballast blocks. Uh, we want to fill them so it's a nice flat surface. So we've got another couple more coats to do, but this is the first coat. Um, it's probably not a mil thick, it's probably about half a mil thick at the moment. Um, so it'll require a couple more coats to get that all nice and sealed, a nice flat surface. Um, but yeah, it's a nice pretty white bilge at the moment. Well, it's basically pitch black here now. Um, I've got the spotlights on to at least do my ending for the video. So I've got some paint on there. It was a bit of a long drawn out process, mixing the paint, um, getting it all ready, getting the corrosion out of there, masking up more corrosion that we found, and then just getting the first initial layer on. So it was a bit, bit of a challenge today, um, but we got there in the end. We got some nice white paint on there. It's gonna be built up in layers. Um, so, you know, I'm gonna have to uh, keep applying that next week uh, just because you know it's going to take time and we've got to wait 14 hours for it to cure before we can put the next layer on. Um, so next week I'm going to try and uh, start addressing some of those little bits of corrosion we found in that aft, um, aft bilge there uh, and once we address that we'll start putting it the second layer on and hopefully a third layer and next week I'm going to continue on with a bit more of those windows so we can start getting this this boat looking a bit watertight so thanks for everybody who subscribed already uh hit that subscribe button we only need 32 more i think it is uh and then we we're monetarized and um i can start uh pushing ahead with a, even more projects on the boat uh, that's what it's all about getting this boat all done um so yeah if you haven't subscribed hit a subscribe leave a comment we had some amazing comments last week um so i'll get back to everyone as soon as i can and hopefully everyone enjoyed the video and see you all next week thanks guys Thank you.